What's up guys? For those of you who don't know, my name is Dylan. This is my E36 project. I'm not always the best when it comes to filming on YouTube. Often I get so locked down on the build, I forget to film anything at all. Because of that, this project might seem a little far along, but I assure you, it's just the beginning. Some of you are probably asking how I came up with this idea and why I chose to make a tube chassis E36. E36 does actually have a well-balanced, solid chassis from the factory. So at first it might seem a little counterintuitive to build a whole new chassis for it. When I was deciding on my next project, I knew I wanted to build a tube chassis for something from scratch. I wanted to build the ultimate streetcar. And to me, the ultimate streetcar looks something like this. A sub 2000 pound, 500 horsepower, and extremely rigid sports car. I had always loved older BMWs, especially since they had incredible styling potential that so few builders explore. The vast majority of E30s, E36s, and E46s, all the builds looked the same, with very few people willing to step outside the box and build something truly unique. Seeing this gap in the market, I wanted to go after it and set a goal of styling an E36 to its full potential. I started by sourcing a 3D scan of a stock E36 bare chassis. From there, I used the 3D scan to reference the body and build the chassis to those constraints. I built the E36 chassis in steps. I started with the center, first making the main hoop, and then the floor, and then the A-pillar. And then once I had the center of the chassis done, I worked forwards and backwards from there, building the back half and the front half. Now to address the elephant in the room. I can already see the comments. You want to step outside the box and build something truly unique and then you put an LS in it. I know the LS isn't an original or unique choice, but the reality is if you want consistent, reliable power, it's the way to go. Plus, there are unique things I plan to do with the motor, which I promise won't disappoint. The videos going forward on this project will be more build oriented. I just felt I had to get you guys up to speed on the project so far. I hope you guys are as stoked on this build as I am, and thanks for watching.